Guten Morgen, amaze me. Yeah, the, the sun's coming up. It's really nice to see the transition from dark to morning. But I just wanted to share this uh, for you briefly because I really like wildflowers. And about uh, five years ago, I ordered uh, five pounds of uh, seeds. And it was funny from a, from a local uh, company called OSC, Ontario Seed Company. They're really good. But it said guaranteed to be, I think, 22 or 23 different varieties of wildflowers native to southern Ontario, where I live. And guaranteed to be, I think it was, uh, I think it was, uh, guaranteed, to be, guaranteed to be something like 3 million seeds. Like big, there's a lot of seeds in there. And, and they're really beautiful. But anyway, uh, I joke joke with the guy because there's this guy. He's a nice guy. He's got a uh, he's got a stall at the at the farmers market here. Sells mostly or organic produce and stuff. Real nice man. And I ordered the seeds through him. <laughs> so I went back a week later just to joke and I said, you know, uh, we got a problem with those seeds. And he says, what do you mean? And so I said, well, uh, forty two thousand seeds short. <laughs> yeah, like I counted them all, right? Anyway, I just wanted to show you. Um, they're really nice. Um, some of them are, are blooming here, so I'm going to show them to you. So, these are wildflowers here. Let's see. So. Uh, yeah, and, and what I like about the mixture I have. Uh, it's basically all the seeds that you would find in a naturally occurring meadow in southern Ontario, if there are any left. Who knows with all these goddamn immigrants we're letting in? Uh, they're 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 building on all the good land here, which is I think sinful and and disgraceful. Anyway, because I'm I'm a country boy, where I came from, place bigger than Texas. The whole province when I when I was there, I left when I was 20 was was like 500,000 people and even now I think it's just a million. So do the math, the two biggest cities there are uh, 180 miles apart and they're about 250,000. So more than half the people of the province of Saskatchewan live in two places. So, I mean, I'm used to wide open spaces. So kind of see all this urban congestion it's not healthy. I mean, if I win the lottery, I'm gone. Uh, I'm gone. Hopefully, uh, my friend has offered. My friend just bought uh, 75 acres, and he's building a place uh, for uh, his 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 dad, who's my best friend. And if they get everything uh, set up there, I think they they'd like to have me there. Maybe I can rent rent a place from them because they're building a big place. And uh, it's really nice, and half of it is forest. So uh, that's you know, I'm not I'm not banking all my 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 eggs in, on that basket, but uh, we get along. And uh, if he's got if he's got room out there and wants a renter, I'm I'm there. I'm down for that. Anyway, um, yeah, I'm not. I'm not a city guy. I lived in Toronto uh, when I was younger, and when I was younger, it was fun. I had a lot of fun. I feel like I've lived about 10 different lives already. There's the short-haired Dieter. Uh, the the short-haired Dieter was the Dieter for most of his life. So this is this is not rebelling, this is just, hey, this is what the Lord gave me. Amazing me. This is what the good Lord gave me. So uh, I'll go with it. I'll show you. I got more wildflowers coming up here. And, uh, and here. And these are, these are my three blueberry bushes, <coughs> which <clears throat> the, two, the two almost died because uh, the weather was so screwed up, but they're native to here. So they're, they're, they're doing really well. And I bought another one.
because I, I read to have blueberries, if you want them every year, you have to have a minimum of two varieties because they cross pollinate or whatever. So I got three bushes, so that should be establish my blueberries here. And the only other thing I'm gonna put on here is some are herbs because they do well. I tried growing some vegetables up here, but they don't get enough sun. So that was a failed experiment. So happy plucking, happy wildflower growing. And the bees like the wildflowers. There's the bees. I have about two or three sets of bees. Like the mason bees come out early, they're already done. And then there's other bees that, that, that uh, I see uh, up here when the different wildflowers bloom. But uh, that bag of seeds was a good deal. It was like, it wasn't cheap, it was about $120, but I've had that bag for about five years. And uh, the nice thing about them, uh, you don't even have to re-sow them because after they, uh, they, they reseed themselves. So any of you, uh, and you, they're natural here. All you, all you have to do is water them occasionally and they just, they just take off because they're native. Indigenous, indigenous flowers, baby. That's where it's at. And I, I'm, if those of you who think, if there are young people that watch this, you think I'm some crazy old hippie, I'm actually too young to be a hippie. The hippies were born in the 40s. I was born in the 50s. I'm a boomer. Wow, I don't, I don't even like that terminology. But yeah, you, you, you youngins, you can blame us for everything, right? But I'll tell you this, I, n I didn't have any kids. I never voted for anybody that, that uh, wanted all this crazy unbridled immigration. So fuck off, fuck off, the, fuck you, okay? I am not responsible for your failures and you're not responsible for mine. Have a nice day. And, and those of you under 50, show some respect for us over 50 and learn how to drive. You know, you're eating ice cream and eating sandwiches and talking on the phone and running re and running red lights and uh, and and stop signs. Maybe you shouldn't be driving, hey? Just give that a thought. Have a nice day, y'all. Have a nice day.